After watching Connor Wolf's uh, YouTube video about uh, this reload uh, dummy load, I decided to order one of my own. I went for Epic version because it's supposed to be able to handle more power. And as I'll find out later, uh, actually it probably needs a larger heatsink for that. But it works. So let's take a look at what's inside the package. Let's empty the package and see what's inside. What we get is a PCB that has all the SMD components pre-mounted on the board. Also some female banana connectors for connecting to your equipment. A MOSFET and according to the documentation uh, it is uh, uh, BTS 141 uh, MOSFET in TO220 package. Also we get a potentiometer. Actually I thought it's a rotary encoder but no. It's uh, just a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. And the mounting screws for the MOSFET. Let's take a closer look at the PCB. Okay, so we have a uh, half an ohm current sensor resistor. An op amp. And 3.3 .3 volt uh, regulator. And some passives. Also, uh, there's a soft power uh, jumper that can be desoldered and uh, uh, the device can be powered from an external power supply according to the documentation. There is not much to talk about the assembly. It's really simple. Just place the FET, the heatsink, the potentiometer and banana connectors in the PCB and solder everything together. So I'll talk a bit more about the device itself. So, Reload 2 is an adjustable constant current load. It was quite cheap. I paid $30.35 for it, and $5.35 of that was for the shipping. And I bought it from Tindy.com. There is also a cheaper version for only $15 plus shipping. The shipment time was quite amazing. To get it to Denmark took only 3 days. A really cool thing is that it is self-powered and can go to 3.3 volts, keeping its current limiting uh, capabilities. I went for the 0 to 6 amp version, since the price difference is minuscule, and it seemed more useful in the future. According to the documentation, it can handle 12, uh, 20 watts with a built-in uh, heatsink, or more with a larger heatsink. Who doesn't like having some extra leeway? Moreover. As I found out later in the video, the over-temperature protection really works. Also, according to the documentation, it has ESD over current and reverse polarity protection. I usually solder at around 300 degrees Celsius. But to solder the heatsink connectors, I had to increase the temperature to 450 degrees. After that, it was really easy. And the tip for the soldering iron is not the best one for soldering with the smaller pins. But I didn't want to wait for the iron to cool down to change it with a smaller one. Needless to say, it was possible to solder it anyway. As I mentioned earlier, the schematic for the reload's current regulator is uh, quite simple. The FET is acting as a regulated resistor and is dissipating all the power. R1 is used for current sensing and the feedback is fed into the MCP6002 op-amp. The current level is set by R6 potentiometer. Uh, that is uh, 10 kilo ohm in this case. I'm thinking about exchanging the R6 with a multi-turn potentiometer. That would give me more precision when adjusting the desired load. To test it, I'm using a uh, adjustable power supply, uh, adjustable bench power supply. Uh, so basically, what I do, I just 
connected uh, uh, connected according uh, to the polarity, and uh, here I tried to set the current uh, limiting to the minimum, but that didn't work that well. I did it other way around, but uh, the power supply is limited to three amps. So. Uh, when adjusting the current limiting, uh, it, it's really easy. Yeah, you just basically turn the pot and it works. Uh, because it was, I wasn't sure that the uh, uh, amp meter uh, is working correctly on the, the power supply, I decided to use my Agilent to measure the current and just to check if, uh, if it's acting correctly. And as we can see from the video, it actually does. Uh, and uh, the quality of the measurement is really amazing. Because as you can see, the current measurement really matches the, uh, the supply's current uh, uh, value. Of course, there is a small offset, but yeah, that's just minuscule. Uh, one thing I noted is that, uh, oh yeah, I, I actually I forgot to uh, adjust the voltage and see if the current is uh, uh, being uh, the current load is being kept. And as you can see in here, uh, I'm actually doing it, and it works quite well as advertised. So I set it to 430 or 440 milliamps, and then just adjust the voltage. And basically, there is little to no jitter. And my power supply can go up to uh, 19 volts. So, yeah, it works over all the voltage range. And when it drops below 3.3 volts, it actually just uh, drops out. I also have this power supply made by Strong Power that is able to provide uh, 12 volts at uh, 6.67 uh, amps, and uh, I use this to test the current load on uh, larger currents. So after playing with uh, larger currents, uh, as you can see here, I am increasing it to around 4.3 amps. It uh, suddenly cut out, so I thought uh, maybe it's the over temperature protection. So I pulled out my uh, infrared ther thermometer and uh, tried to play with it. Uh, so uh, at the rest, after playing with it for a while, uh, the temperature is around 65 degrees uh, at the bed. Uh, so uh, I decided to set it up to a particular point. Uh, in this case, it's 3.7 amps. And as soon as the temperature reaches uh, 74, or five degrees it cuts out. So just to check if it's really the temperature and not some cabling, I try to do again monitoring all the wires around me. Uh, so uh, this time I think I'll set it to a, a bit larger uh, current. I have around 4.2 amps and as soon as it reaches uh, 78 degrees or so uh, it cuts out. And to get it back running, you either disconnect the load from uh, uh, from the reload, or you can sometimes wait for it a little bit to cool and it uh, recovers. So what I think about this device? Well, it's really cool. It's not that expensive. Uh, of course, there isn't uh, much to solder uh, when you get it, and uh, <laughs> I would like to uh, play with soldering the SMD components as well, uh, and not only the uh, the through hole through hole ones, but I think it's uh, I think worth buying, and for that price, yeah, you should definitely check it out. Bye.